Imagine that one day, poof, all the big, furry, and feathered creatures just vanish into thin air. Humans disappear as well, and now there's nothing left but microbes. What would happen to Earth? How long would it take for complex creatures to appear again? And what would they be like? All right, welcome to the microbial world. Microbes are the tiniest building blocks of life, so small you can't even see them without a microscope. In this amazing world, there are three main groups of microbes, bacteria, archaea, and the single-celled organisms. Bacteria are everywhere, from the air you breathe to the food you eat. Some bacteria are good buddies, helping us digest our food and even making yogurt taste yummy. But some of them can be mischievous and cause infections. Archaea are the tough explorers of our microscopic universe. Archaea are the daredevils of microbes, and they showed us that life can survive in the craziest conditions. For example, they can thrive in super hot springs even in incredibly scorching temperatures. Some of them are even capable of living in volcanoes. They also feel pretty fine in the freezing cold. Certain bacteria can get busy even in icy places like the Arctic and Antarctica. There, they help break down things like old plants and animals that got frozen in time. They work as nature's cleanup crew, turning leftovers into useful bits. Or imagine the darkest depths of the ocean where sunlight can't reach. And who do we meet down there? Microbes again, who make food from all the weird chemicals in the water. And of course, they also live inside you. You're a walking microbe party. Your gut alone is a cozy home to trillions of bacteria that help you digest food and stay healthy. And finally, the single-celled organisms. They can be plant-like, making their own food through photosynthesis, or animal-like, hunting for their next tiny meal. Some single-celled organisms can even team up to form colonies that work together and build complex structures. All these microbes are the foundation of life. At first, there were nothing but microbes on Earth. They were just hanging out and enjoying the simple life. But time kept ticking, and the more years passed, the more they evolved. They changed a little, sometimes acquiring some special abilities and passing these abilities on to their children. Generations come and go, and those changes keep adding up. Microbes became more and more complex. And after billions of years and trillions of changes, they become something as amazing as the animals, plants, and people we see on Earth today. It was a very long and tedious process, so let's try to repeat it now. Like, what if all living organisms on our modern Earth, except for the first microbes, would disappear? Without the hustle and bustle of life, the world would become eerily quiet. Streets that were once filled with people and animals would now be empty and peaceful. Buildings and cities would stand alone like silent monuments to the vanished world. First, we would have a huge disruption of food chains. Without plants, herbivores, and carnivores, the intricate food chains and webs that sustain life would simply collapse. Our world wouldn't be as wild and vibrant. The tiny microbes are cool, but they can't recreate the same big, bustling party that we all love. Also, remember how we mentioned that microbes often eat the leftovers of animals and other organisms? Just like when you eat cake and turn it into energy, they turn these bits into nutrients that the Earth loves. But now, without the big animals and plants, there wouldn't be as much leftover cake. The microbes would still work hard, but their evolution would be really slowed down. Now, you might think that without plants, we wouldn't have any more oxygen. But this isn't entirely true. In fact, trees produce only about 20 to 30 percent of the oxygen on Earth. So who really helps us breathe? Plankton from SpongeBob. But seriously, ocean plankton, especially phytoplankton, which is responsible for around 80 percent of Earth's oxygen production, Phytoplankton are considered microorganisms. They're tiny, single-celled or colonial organisms that float around in the oceans, harnessing sunlight. So if all land plants and animals disappeared, oceanic plankton would still continue to produce oxygen in the oceans through photosynthesis. They would become even more essential for maintaining a breathable atmosphere. Although now these guys would face some big challenges. 
You see, big animals like whales and fish usually provide nutrients to the ocean. These nutrients are plant food that phytoplankton need to grow and thrive. Without the big animals, there might be fewer of these special nutrients around. The phytoplankton might not grow as well. And since these guys act as the bottom of the ocean food chain, that could have a domino effect on the whole ocean food web. And also, with fewer plants, there's less oxygen being made, and carbon dioxide starts to stick around more. The balance of gases in the air would change a bit, and when the balance tips, it can affect the weather. The Earth's temperature and the way wind moves would change too. Plus, too much carbon dioxide can make the air feel a bit stuffy. Next, animals like moles, ants, and worms as nature's engineers. They're digging tunnels, burrows, and homes in the ground. When these animals dig and move around, they're actually helping the soil. They mix it up and create pathways for air and water to travel through. It's like they're giving the soil a good shake to keep it healthy. So without the animal engineers, the soil might get a bit packed and tight. Water from rain wouldn't be able to seep in as easily. When they're gone, the nutrients aren't getting spread around as much, and the soil might miss its tasty treats. So the whole ecosystem underground could become less cozy and more cramped. But the most interesting question is, what would happen to all our human artifacts? People disappeared, but their builds remained. Let's look at how this could affect the development of microbes on Earth. Our human-made things need proper care. So, if there were no more people around, all these things would be destroyed very fast. Microbes can grow on surfaces, and over time, they would start to cover buildings, streets, and structures. It might not be visible right away, but given enough time, you'd see a thin layer of microbial growth. Nature is a powerful thing. Buildings that were once shielded by human maintenance would now be exposed to the elements. Wind, rain, sun, and snow would all destroy and break down everything we've ever created. And some places on Earth have really tough weather, super hot summers, freezing winters, or crazy storms. In these areas, buildings and cities might even get sadder faster. Microbes would contribute to this too, as some of them produce acids that can break down materials. Slowly, cracks might appear, and materials like concrete and wood might weaken. Humans overestimate their power when they call themselves kings of nature. If we disappeared, in just a couple of thousand years, there would be almost no traces of human civilization left. It would be like we never even existed. But in any case, this event would offer an exciting opportunity for microbes to evolve in a completely new way. With the spotlight all to themselves, they're free to explore and adapt to their surroundings. Some places might become more challenging, while others might become easier to conquer. Microbes reproduce quickly, sometimes in just a matter of minutes. This rapid evolution could lead to a burst of new microbial species. Could microbes rehabitate the planet? Absolutely. Over time, new species of animals and plants would begin to appear. Like the butterfly effect, any small changes would have led to completely new types of life, and perhaps to new types of humans. In any case, these rapidly evolving microbes could reshape the way ecosystems work. They'd interact with each other in new ways, creating intricate relationships and cycles. The balance of life on Earth might be very different from what we know today. What would it look like? Let's leave that to your imagination. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.